Yeah. Yeah. Sam and Gon and Dogon have gone with what's left of the men to Boston Neck. I hope they make it. We should join them as soon as we can. First, I must melt this down. Then I need the diagram of my design. I left it with an officer as a kind of insurance policy. He can almost always be found at the tavern. Get that? And I can file this shape to the correct position. Benjamin Franklin sent me to you. Sorry, my friend. You want something? You've got to beat me. I do not have a lot of time. That's my condition. Very well. But let's make it quick. you hear about the little fracas went down tonight? It was quite a battle. Battle is being generous. More like a massacre. Bunch of fellas got suckered by Putnam. Pretty funny. What do you mean, got suckered? Shooting fish in a barrel, really. Dumb fish. What are you talking about? Putnam started a rumor that the captain of the guard was friendly to the rebels. Hilarious. What? Yep. Old Putnam tricked those redcoats into coming out in a group to Boston Neck. Then just mowed those stupid saps down. Do you know this for a fact? I was there. I saw Adams take his last breath. That's it. Get him, boys.
riddance to those louts. They never paid anyway. Don't hurt me, please. I'm nothing to you. Was that checker player telling the truth? Did Adams run into a trap? I must find out. Gunnandokon's tomahawk. Are these... Are these his fingers? That's from Sam's uniform. Dried blood. I have to be certain. Someone must have seen this. Terrible. The rebels were overwhelmed, outnumbered four to one. Never seen such slaughter. Piteous. Piteous slaughter. This should get us close to Washington. By heavens, what happened? Boston Neck was a trap set by Putnam. And Adams. Cannon Dogon. 
Everyone killed. Killed? We'll be next. We've got to get out of here. The land routes are cut off. We must escape by sea. Yes, by sea. I know of an excellent ship. But I'm too well known to move about freely. I will find you a disguise. Excellent idea. In the meanwhile, give me the diagram. I'll file this metal to precision. Bit of a tight fit, you know. How do I look? Ridiculous. You don't have to be so honest. Hmm. Faulkner. Sir. Who's that? Do I... Franklin? Don't let the disguise fool you. Oh, <coughs> goddammit! Uh, Your men stole my ship, you shite! Easy, Mr. Faulkner. Mr. Franklin is on the side of the rebels now. We need your help. And why should I? You will get your ship back. <laughs> the goddamn wharf's too heavily guarded. I can change that if you tell me what needs to be done. Well, let's see. I'll need you to untie the killer so it's all set to go. Meantime, I can scare you up a small crew. Then we'll rush the guards and set sail.
The Aquila is ready. Do you have a crew? They're here. Can they fight? They're sailors. They do nothing but fight. Let's go. All right, this way. All right.
one move, just one move, and he's dead. Call back your men and give yourself up. Further than I get on. Go! Shut it! Uh. I've done such horrible deeds. It's the scepter, but that's no excuse. Every man holds evil deep within. The apple just brought it out. <gasps> chance was to leave from the docks. He kept turning the wheel. Ganadokon, I do not care. Land ho! Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> 